Welcome to Glory Talk. Today is March 14, 2023. Welcome. Praise God. I tell you what, um, this is a wonderful day. The sun's out. The sun's out today. It's great. It's beautiful. And um, I'm sorry, it's a little hard to focus. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really, really enjoying um, soaking in, in the Lord right now. So let's start it. I heard him say record, so I, I pressed record and here we are. All right, please like, up, subscribe, and share all the videos. Help get God out there to everyone and do your part too. It just blesses me and it blesses God the Father and Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ just to get the word out there to everyone. We have to do our parts and this is my part. So, then, you know, do your part too and share it for everyone. Share it to everybody. Uh, and please help me out. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Uh, I'm on YouTube and Facebook under Glory Talk. That's all I'm at right now. And if you want to sow into this ministry, and it is a ministry, I've been told to do this as a mission, and um, you can sow into Glory Talk at paypal.me slash glory talk. There's a description on the pinned uh, tile or the pinned note in Facebook, and that's Glory Talk. You'll see a picture of me, and then there's a uh, on YouTube, I have it under every video right now to where the information is there, and that's for PayPal also, and uh, I also have it under my About section. So anyway, and I'm under Glory Talk on YouTube. So thank you for everything you've done. You guys are cool. You're awesome. And God's going to bless you for it. Praise God. Because whenever you sow into something, He will bless you for it, and He will give it back to you. Amen. And he will bless you like crazy. So praise God. All right. Um, remember to sow into things that teach you. Sow into things that speak to you. Sow into things that make a difference in your life. That's where God blesses you. Amen. Amen. And remember, you can't outgive God. <laughs> it's right. It says it in the Word. You cannot outgive God. Amen. So, let's start off with prayer. All right. Father God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ, I thank you, excuse me, ugh, I thank you for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. You are an awesome God. You are just blessing me today, and I'm feeling your presence today big time, and I thank you for doing that, and I ask that you go out forth, and I call forth your spirit on everybody, and I call forth your, your presence over everyone so they can feel you and be touched by you and touch their hearts and touch their lives and touch their bodies and touch them and just bring them health, wealth, and prosperity because you said we are coming into the divine health, wealth, and prosperity. And I'm reminding you of your word, Lord, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father. And please pour it out on us and release it on us and call it forth over all of us to be implemented and received by everyone. And you keep telling me, Lord, everyone is everyone. And it'll be so. It will be so. Praise God in Jesus' name. Amen. So remember, you can call forth the word. You can call forth this everything that God says in his word because those promises are true. They are his word. His word is full of truth. And what does the truth do? It sets you free. It takes care of everything. And God never fails. His word is designed to do that. And God never, never, ever, ever fails. He will never leave you or forsake you. Look that up in the word. Praise God. Amen. So as I'm flowing in the spirit here, <laughs> it, it's it's a little hard to focus, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just flow with him for a little bit and see what he wants to talk about. <laughs> I didn't really know what to say today, so I'm just kind of winging this one today. And, and the Holy Spirit tells me to wing it most of the time. He wants control over what we have to get out to the world and what he wants to say. I just heard, go ahead. All right, so it's all about what God wants to say. It's all about him. You know, when you're listening to people, and they're talking to you, and when things are being said, 
You have to make sure that it lines up with the Word of God and it always points back to God. And if it does not do that, then you know it's something you should question. You know it won't be from him. Interesting, Lord. That's interesting where you got us going here. So remember the word. I just heard that. See, the Holy Spirit talks to you all the time. And you have to get rid of all the distractions around you and focus on what God wants to do. And he's there all day, every day, all night. He will never leave you or forsake you. And the Holy Spirit's right there talking to you. Somebody needs to hear that. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. So let's be led here in the direction we're supposed to go and listen to the Holy Spirit. Um, it's about his comfort. I just heard that. It's about his comforting. He's the comforter. And that's what it says in the word also. Um, the Holy Spirit is your comforter. He is your guide. He is your most awesome friend when you need him to be there. He will never mislead you. And if it is, it's from the devil. So always listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is always there to guide you, especially during this time of uncertainty and this period and a season of it. Because of what's coming through, we're jumping into and following and going into the new divine kingdom era and reign. So I want uh, to encourage you guys to keep listening to what the Holy Spirit's trying to tell you. Keep going towards that prize. Keep going towards the prize in Christ. Because if you're not sure, then ask him and look it up in the word. Say, Holy Spirit, what are we to do next? Holy Spirit, what do you think about this? Holy Spirit, can you help me? Hmm. He does want you to call on him. Um, remember, God is God the Father, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. They, they all work together as three in one. It is the Godhead that God has for us to believe in, to uh, exist in, to um, uplift him, and to acknowledge him. And um, it's the workings of his divinity. And um, I'm just kind of slowing down and making sure I'm saying this right and getting the clues from the Holy Spirit. And, and also back it up in the Word if you're not sure. And this is what he keeps telling me. Yes, Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you, God our Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. You are worthy to be praised, bless your holy name. And remember, the more you praise him, the more he loves that, and he will acknowledge you also. You acknowledge him, he acknowledges you. You give him praise, and he will sing praises over you. He actually does that all the time. He sings joy. He has joy that he speaks over you, and he sings praises over you, and rejoices over you. That's in the word. Look that one up. And... Um, be wise to your decisions coming in these days. These days are really interesting. These days are coming through. They're going to be very questionable. And you'll see all kinds of evil being exposed. And on the other side of it, you will see God doing his thing. And right now, revivals are started. And revivals are going across the lands in the world. And they're breaking out everywhere. And um, they're not to be controlled. God keeps telling us that. He says, I'm an unlimited God. And God says, no, allow me to do it. Do not control what I'm trying to do. He keeps saying that. And he says, don't put me in a box. Don't put me in limitations. I am a God of unlimited love, unlimited restoration. I just heard that. And God is a God of mercy, oh, praise God, and of grace. Grace is a big deal, and um, you got to give grace to people that are on their way and making their way towards heaven and their, their path towards getting to know God the Father and Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit. They need grace. Um, it doesn't mean you have to put up with the 
unsavory lifestyle or the sin that they're in. It's just that you have to give them some grace in order to get there. And um, you'll be guided when to guide people and how to deal with them from the Holy Spirit. You know, if somebody is abusing you, you don't have to stay around the abuse. You don't have to, you don't have to let it stay in your life. You get rid of the abuse and then you give, you give it boundaries, you know. The devil's not allowed to come in there and do that. And uh, remember to do that. Remember, abuse is abuse. Do not let it come near you. There are ways out of that. If you need help, ask God how to do that. Ask God how to get away from the abuse, from the negative, from the stuff that's doing that, and just call upon God. And we will do it right now, okay? We'll call upon God. I call upon you, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, God the Father, to, to help everyone so they are not being abused, to give help to the people that need your salvation, to give help to the people that need to get out of the abusive situation, and to give help to all those people to be restored. They need to be restored and delivered from their situations. Mm. And I call that forth for you and for all of us to have that in our lives. I call forth all the abuse to stop. I call forth all of God's mercy and grace to show up and completely change that situation and to correct the situation and to correct and guide us to the right decisions that we need to make in our lives and to remove us from anything that is from the demonic and the devil and bring us forth and call forth that we come into a safe place, into salvation, into deliverance and mercy and grace and love. Yes, Father God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, thank you for doing that. And we release that on everyone in Jesus' name. Praise God. So that's something we're doing now. This is something that God wants us to do. We want to pray into everybody and to pray salvation into everybody and also deliver people and get them out of the awful situation so God can do that work. God wants to do that work. He wants to show them that he can do that work. And you know what comes out of that? If they're not saved, people will become saved through that whole situation. People will give their lives up to God and to Christ and the Holy Spirit through that whole situation. Because God's showing them the mercy. He's showing them the love. And he's showing the deliverance that he can do for you. And um, if you need to be saved, just ask him into your life and make him first and foremost before anything else. And let him take care of everything and just give everything over to God. Leave it in his capable hands because he's the God of everything. And Jesus was sent on that cross to die for your sins, you know. He was sent on that cross in order to make a way for you to be saved and to be delivered from your situations, from your sin, and from the ways of the world. Okay. Holy Spirit, is that what you want to do? So ask Jesus into your life, and in order to do that, just say, I repent, because we don't have control over our situation sometimes. We don't have control over everything that happens to us sometimes, but we also have to acknowledge that Jesus did all this work for us. He sacrificed for us on the cross, and we have to acknowledge what he did there. That was a big deal. That was a that was to change everything, to make it easy to make it to heaven and to live this wonderful life on earth and to want to live a great life on earth. And so he wants to cleanse you from those things that did that to you and also to deliver you from them and to cleanse your soul and to cleanse your, your situation too. Is this where we're going, Holy Spirit? Ahead. He's got he's full of mercy for you. He's full of mercy for you. He's full of tenderness and love for you. So give him your life. Give him your life and acknowledge what he did on the cross. And just say, 
I choose as an act of my will, if you don't totally believe it, because your words will not fall to the ground. They will come back up and complete themselves. Your words are powerful. Yes. But just like God's words, we were designed <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> we were designed perfectly like God designed us. And he sent his son to die for our sins. So we can be co-heirs in Christ. Look that up. Co-heirs in Christ. And that now we are going to be upheld and, and, and just given to God Almighty when we get to heaven. He says, hey, here is your son and daughter. And um, my goodness, that's going to be a glorious day. So let's finish the job and repent for what we did in our lives and repent for not allowing God in our lives and repent for the things we did in our lives and just acknowledge what Jesus did on the cross. Because we can't deny what he did. Because if we deny what he did, then none of this would have mattered. None of this would have happened. None of this would have came through. So we acknowledge what you did on the cross, Jesus. And we say with our words, and our words are powerful, I choose as an act of my will, I choose as an act of my will to ask for forgiveness and forgiveness of sins. There you go. I choose as an act of my will to be led to you, Jesus, to give everything I got in my life to you, give my whole person, my whole soul to you. Yes, Jesus. And wash it away with cleaning, clean our souls, cleanse us, and forgive us. There you go. Keep going. I, I'm hearing that. You're getting it, yes. You're being cleansed right now. And Jesus, come into my life as my Savior and my Christ. Come into my life, Jesus. I choose this and act of my will, if you need to say that. I choose this and act of my will for you, Jesus, to come into my life, to live there forever and ever and ever. And he will never leave you. And now you're a child of God. Now you are this wonderful child of God, and you are going to live a wonderful life. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Welcome, child of God. Welcome, daughter and son of God. Mm -mm -mm. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. So the relationship you have now with Jesus is that he is our groom. We are the bridegroom, and that's what it says in the word. So we are. that's how that works, and now we are the bride of Jesus. And then we are covered by that covenant that we have with him. And it's a wonderful day. And nobody else can do that for us except Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through Jesus. That's in the Word. Look that up. Amen. I always point back to the Word and to God. Because that's where the truth is, and that's where his, everything is, everything about him is. It's all in there. And you will get more revelation, and you will get more wisdom, understanding, discernment when you seek him, and you look into his word, and just ask him for that revelation, understanding, and discernment, and wisdom, understanding, and discernment, and you'll get it. Because he's, he's, pro he's promises that in the word that we'll get it. And you will discover that you will start learning things you never thought you'd learned before. And he will help you get through it. Amen. He will help you do everything in his life, in your life. He will help you in every area of your life. Amen. Amen. Okay, I just heard the Holy Spirit say, talk about the lights. So, hey, do you like the lights? <laughs> he told me to put them up. Be joyous. Be uh, Celebrate, you know, and, and express yourself. So I said, okay, I'll put up the lights. I'm expressing myself. I'm having fun. Um, I am to mix it up some more, so I'm doing that. I'm learning how to do that and, and have some fun. And you can too. Be expressive in your life. Have some fun in your life. Let God take over, and he'll totally surprise you. Totally, totally surprise you. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, Wow. Okay, I'll wait on the Holy Spirit here a little bit. I heard something. 
Um, I heard something about releasing the joy of the Lord on you. So I'm going to release the joy of the Lord through this. You will get it. Just release and you can claim it. Say, I claim it in Jesus' name. I release the joy of the Lord on you. You're going to get it anyway. I release the joy of the Lord on you. And um, we're supposed to call that forth. I call forth the joy of the Lord to come and release on you because the joy of the Lord is coming through now and he wants to finish everything in your life. He wants to give you joy now in your life. He wants to fill you up with his joy so you can experience it and be joyful and be happy because you don't need to be a person that's sad or, or always tormented. That's no longer a thing anymore under Jesus Christ. You are a son and daughter of the King. Keep going. I heard that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are a son and daughter of the King. You are worthy to be a son and daughter of the King. You are worthy to be saved and you are worthy to have uh, what's that word, Holy Spirit? The entitlement of a child of God. That's wonderful. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, God the Father. Yes, because you are a child of God. That's how much he loves you. That's how much he wants you to be in his life. That's how much God is yearning for you to be in his life. And he wants to be in your life he wants you to yearn for him. He wants you to express yourself through your soul to him and just to be giving yourself up to him. Amen. I was just reading about that in Psalms. Yes, because it should come from our hearts. It should come from our hearts and our souls and our minds. And, and that's a part of our whole will. And it should come from that in order to be effectively and, and, and descriptively and, and, and expressively to God. You want to express yourself to God. You want to do that and give him that part of you so that you can rely on him and he will take care of that tender part of your heart. Somebody needs to hear that. He's going to take care of that tender part of your heart in there. And um, whatever got beat up, mm, whatever got beat up in there, whatever's in there that got beat up, he wants to take care of that. He wants to mend it. And he wants to restore it. Yes, Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit. And he says, deliverance is mine, thus saith the Lord. So that's what God says in his word. Deliverance is mine, thus saith the Lord. So he wants to deliver you. And he wants to mend all those things in you. And he wants to restore all those things in you. So I call upon the Lord to do that. And I ask for... Okay, I call upon the Lord to mend you and to, to mend all of us and to mend everyone and heal their souls, heal, their, heal those tender parts in their hearts that need to be healed and mended and made whole and complete. Thank you, Jesus. I call upon that for you. I call upon that on you. And so we all get it, we all receive it, we all will get the mending and the restoration and the healings in our hearts and, our, and the parts that we need to be healed. He'll touch that and he'll make it so brand new, he'll make it so worthy to be around him that he, you will never want him to leave that. You will never want him to leave because he's there for you, he's wanting you, he's, he's calling out to you that he wants you he wants you there he wants so much of you okay lord this is really nice thank you lord holy spirit god the father keep going i heard the holy spirit so keep going so so give yourselves up give yourselves up to him completely so you can be made whole so you can be made mended and made whole and complete because his word says that to be healed whole and complete he wants to take every part of it he wants to take care of every part of it and deliverance of it deliverance thank you father we're going to do deliverance so there's there's more to us in inside of us in our minds and our hearts and our souls and our souls are like pages of a book 
and our souls have things written in them that people might have said to us or talked to us or things that happened to us. And those are not, that is not your identity in Christ. That is not your identity in God. Your identity in God is everything that he says you are in the word. And that is that you're redeemed, you're saved, you're loved, you're worthy, you're full of kindness, you're full of love, you're full of mercy and grace, just like God. You are full of all those things. And you are those things in him. And boy, there's so much love he wants you to have. So let's take care of those parts in your soul that keep you from furthering and going towards the goal, which is to be made healed and whole and complete. Yes. So I call forth everything you need for that. And we're going to have Jesus draw out everything that doesn't belong there. And he will draw them out. So Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. And we're going to loosen those things from our soul. And that's what loosening and binding is in the word. Look that up. You can loosen and bind things. So we're going to loosen those parts of our souls that have been hurt. And that have been, oh, Jesus. That have been hurt and that have been, and that tenderness that was taken away. And that, that, that awful stuff they said about you and those awful things that happened to you those those are not what you are those are not what you are in your life and we're going to have Jesus take those out and take them out of you and loosen those from your soul so you can be healed whole and complete draw them out Jesus draw all those things out of our souls that don't belong there loosen those things from our soul that don't belong there loosen and deliver us from them okay there we go you got it keep going okay lord thank you jesus i i can tell that's happening for you go for it Lead, let it all go let it all come out let it all come out of your soul so it doesn't stay there and god and jesus is taking them out every bit of it every part of it that doesn't belong there so you will be healed and whole and made complete Yes. And now you want to bind yourself to Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father. And you want to bind your soul to them. And that way you'll do everything that they do. You, that they do because you want to bind yourself to them and all their love and all their mercy and all their kindness and their joy and all the ways about them. So you want to bind yourself to Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, God the Father, and you want to bind your soul, so go ahead. I bind my soul to you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father. And I want, yes, say it with your words. Keep going. All your love, all your mercy, all your ways, all your kindness, everything about you, everything is everything. Joy kindness, love, everything. And there you go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God the Father. Thank you for those healings and acknowledge Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father for the healings. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God the Father for the healing. Say it with your words. He loves that. He's going to shower you with everything he's got. He's going to shower you with love. He's going to shower you with everything that he has. And ask him to shower you. Ask him to love you. He'll give you a great big old hug, you know. And his presence to come down. And we call upon God's presence to come down and give you a hug. We call upon presence of, of God to come down and just shower you with his love. And shower you with his Holy Spirit. And yes, to feel peace and contentment. And I speak them on you. And I call upon that on you for peace and contentment on you. And you will have it. And receive it. There you go. Receive it. Because you're going to get it. Amen. Praise God. That's really good. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him for it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Wow, this is really wonderful. Um, sometimes I never know what the Holy Spirit's going to guide me to do, but he went, he went this way. He wanted this for this direction. 
and this way of doing the video. So praise God. Praise God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. Whew, that was good. Praise God. And remember, when you start praising God, he can't help but show up. You know, they did that before they went into war and before they did a whole bunch of things in the word. Go look that up. When they wanted to go into new places and when they wanted to go take on a new enemy and when they wanted to do anything actually in life, you could tell that they were always going, okay, let's lift God up. So they started praising God. A lot of times they would put the praise and worshipers out there in front and that would pave the way because you know what that does? It confuses the enemy. It battles in the spirit and it tears down the strongholds in the spirit and the enemy will be confused and they'll turn on themselves or they will just run off and you will defeat them. And remember, even in the walls of Jericho, they did that. Oh my gosh, that's right. They did that at the walls of Jericho and they completely won that. And that's the pre thing before they even went into battle. That was really cool, Lord, thank you. And so I also did that for myself. You know, I had something I was battling here. So I just started praising God and calling forth everything that he said about it, which is, it is fixed. It is final. It is already in God's perfect way, you know. And so I just repeated the words that he was telling me to do. And um, that's what I did. And, and like everything was made whole and complete, you know, already. Everything was taken care of. And so when I did that, and I started praising God for it and saying for it and and did that over the situation. The situation is gone. It is completed and I got past it and the situation has been resolved. It's completely gone and it has been removed. And I praise God for that. You, you should have seen when it happened. I just started praising God and laughing. I was laughing, laughing, laughing and praising God. I was like joy laughing, you know, and I was going, I couldn't hardly control it. I just started laughing when it actually happened and we got past the situation and I started laughing with joy and God's allowing this joy to come through right now. And it's so fun and wonderful. And, and it was so fun and wonderful and joyful to be in that presence of it and just start laughing because it was coming from the heart. It was coming from the mind and the heart and the soul, just coming out. It was part of my will. And oh my gosh, I couldn't control it hardly. I just laughed for about a half an hour and it, and it was just so much fun. And so that's what God wants to do right now. And that's what he's gonna do for you. I encourage you to do that. Get into God, get into what he's trying to tell you to do. If he's guiding you a certain way, do that. It's going to work. It's going to resolve itself. Whatever it is that you're going through, it's going to resolve itself. It's going to come to pass and it will never be a problem ever again. And he will take care of that for you. And if it comes back, you tell it where to go and you remind it that it's the power of Jesus is over it. In Jesus name, it has to go. It has to flee and it has to leave in Jesus name because that is in the word and that's what you stand on. Praise God. Wow, you guys, wrap it up. Okay, thank you, Lord. I just heard that. I heard the Holy Spirit. So thank you for allowing me to do this. And thank you, Lord God Almighty, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, God the Father. Thank you for everything you've done. And thank you for allowing me to do this. And I thank you for allowing me to tell you about God and the practical and fun ways to live your life and um, how he's going to show you how to live your life. And I'm hoping, and I'm, I always hope and pray that that's what I get to do for you and God's allowing me to do it. Amen. So, get the word out there about Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father. That's where we're going. We got his divine kingdom coming through. Watch for it. Keep aware of it. And build yourself up in it. Yes. And all you got to do is say, I believe in you, God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. And keep your mind set on him. And speak his words and his promises and they will come to pass. All right. So please like, subs uh, yeah, here we go. Please like, subscribe, and follow, and share all the videos and words and posts because it helps get God out there. And if you want to give to Glory Talk, I'm on PayPal. It's paypal.me slash Glory Talk. There's descriptions on it and YouTube and under each video there. And there's a picture of me and there's descriptions of it on Facebook under Glory Talk. And there's a picture of me there and it's on a tile, a pinned tile. And that's where I'm at. Amen. 
and uh, please give because when you give, God will give it back to you. You can't outgive God. And um, just to remind you that we're doing this for God. We're not being selfish about this anymore. We are bringing in his kingdom and his kingdom heir and reign. And this is the last kingdom that is to the end. Amen. And it's going to be glorious. And remember, as the evil is being exposed and falling down around you, God is doing his part, and he is shining like a diamond for you. And he will take care of you, and he will love on you and fill you up, and you stay there in his word and in his ways, and he will always get you through. Yes. Amen. Don't miss out on what he's doing, because it's going to be great and wonderful. Praise God. All right. Well, that's it. Um, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to make it. And you are going to get everything that God's got for you. And look that up in the Word. It's pretty cool. You're going to get everything you he has for you. Look it up. Stand on it. Believe it. It's coming through. And ask him about it and get confirmations about it because he will do that. Praise God. I love you. Until next time, have a wonderful, blessed day. And fill yourself up with God all the time. And he will do that for you. All right. Praise God. Goodbye. Bye.